Hi everyone, hope everybody is doing great. Myself, Ram Kumar, Faculty of Computer Networks in Medicine. Weightage of the computer networks in the GATE exam is 10 percent in CSC. Uh, this subject is not only for the GATE, it is for different competitive exams like PSU and NET also will be used. It is a important subject uh, for interviews in the networking companies or service based companies also. Generally students used to ask what kind of uh, questions uh, asked in computer networks with respect to the gate. As we observe from the previous patterns uh, from the previous years standard questions uh, used to ask in the gate exam. Especially in the colleges you try to I mean you learn the subject as a theoretical subject, but it is not a theoretical, it is a numerical and a practical oriented and you can feel this experience in the classroom. We teach this subject from a very basic level to the advanced level. It helps to understand the concept clearly. So, classroom coaching helps in uh, basically in the design of protocols in the network in less amount of time. And at the end of uh, the particular day of the class, you can develop the logic by solving the workbook problems. The main topics of uh, the computer networks as per the gate are like data link layer, network layer, transport layer, application layer and you had some basic security also. See what exactly uh, the computer networks, uh, uh, the basic, the definition if you talk means what exactly the computer networks means, it is like the flow of um, uh, the data from end to end from system to system passing via uh, the networking uh, devices. It is something like what you try to learn inside a single computer um, passing from CPU to different memory devices, the same thing we try to learn in the um, uh, internet. And if you talk about uh, the mask distribution especially among different layers in the network, in the data link layer uh, they are focusing on the uh, flow control policies error control policies and it is around uh, 2 marks they are asking. Basically what is this data link layer it means it will focus on the flow of data only inside single LAN. That is when you transmit the data how well the other system or what basis the data is accepted by the other system inside a single LAN in the data link layer it will be taken care by the flow control policies. And that means these are the policies which you are going to cover only inside a single LAN. Like if the when you transmit the data because of external or internal noise the data can be modified and once it uh, reaches to the receiver system uh, that can be handled or find out whether really the data is correct or modified. Uh, by applying the error control policies uh, like parity scheme, uh, checksum, uh, CRC and Hamming code. So, these all are apart from that like if the channel whatever we use inside a single LAN possibly it is a shared channel then definitely before accessing the data uh, a system has to have a complete control over on that shared channel and that you learn in the access control policies like it might be a, a IEEE 802.3 which is a wide communication and basically you use CSMA by CD or if it is a wireless you go for uh, CSMA by CA. So, if you, if you observe the different uh, patterns of previous questions which you observe in the data link layer they are asking from these um, areas and it is around uh, 2 marks they are asking. So, basically the data link layer they are focusing only on a, a single LAN. 
Now, once you come to the, the next layer, uh, so called the network layer, see the entire uh, network layer is taken care by a device called a router. In fact, you can call it as a three layer device or a switch also you can call. That means, inside the router, in fact, the router is nothing but a device which is connecting the networks. Okay. So, what is happening inside that router that you are going to uh, learn in the network layer. So, router is a device which is connecting uh, different heterogeneous networks you can say. So, when we talk about the rou uh, net, uh, router or the network uh, layer, we talk about the protocols uh, like uh, IPv4, IPv6. These protocols will tell you, protocol is nothing but a set of rules. Set of rules means set of algorithms you can say. So, these protocols will give you an idea what is the way of accepting the data by the router and forwarding. In fact, you can compare with a, a store and forward you can say. So, IP protocols will helpful to transmit the data inside the router and if some packets are lost that will be taken care by this ICMP and the remaining all protocols. But the decision making inside the router that you can call them as the routing algorithms, uh, the decision making on which path the packet should be forwarded because the router is a multi-port device on which path the packet should be uh, forwarded before going to the destination, it has to go from hop to hop. That decision making is taken care by the uh, routing algorithms like distance vector routing, link state routing, in fact a higher and the path vector routing which is from one autonomous system to other autonomous system. How the packets will be converted into small, small integral tiny parts like uh, uh, fragments, these also will be taken care in the network layer especially in the IP protocol. As a whole, as a whole or as a broad view or in a what we can say that uh, what is happening inside the router that is taken care by the network layer. Now, the, in this uh, if you observe the previous patterns, mostly the questions which they ask from IP protocols, I mean the IP header and basically from the routing algorithms, it is around 2 to 3 marks uh, they are asking in the network layer. Now, once you come to the, the next following layer is the transport layer. See the idea of uh, learning as separate separate layers is it something like a divide and conquer principle. The work of network is so complex, you cannot integrate in a single step. So, the first we learn in separate layers, at the end we integrate all these parts. So, as a student, if I want to know the complete idea of the network, once you complete the transport layer, then only you can have a complete idea what is happening bit by bit at every end you can say. So, what exactly uh, the transport layer? Like means whatever you learn in a single data link uh, layer, what is the flow of data inside a single network, globally end to end what is happening and that will be taken care by the transport layer. And uh, here we focus on two basic protocols called TCP and UDP protocols, conjunction policies, flow control policies and uh, some issues like TCP timers and the silly window syndrome. So, once we have given the uh, some uh, complete the transport layer, uh, then you have the complete picture what is happening uh, bit by bit end to end in the network. And in this uh, transport layer mostly if you observe the previous pattern, it, they are asking around uh, 2 marks questions uh, in the transport layer. Okay, next comes the application uh, layer. Here we have some uh, basic protocols or the layman protocols, daily everybody used to use these protocols like HTTP, uh, if you want to access the web content, you can go for HTTP or in a secure manner HTTPS, like if you want to download a file FTP, when you want to send a mail SMTP and here we talk about some protection mechanisms using firewall like hardware firewall and to know the IP address DNS. These all are high end protocols which we learn in the application layer. And basically here one or two marks theoretical questions they are asking with respect to the gate in the application layer. But apart from that, uh, they have uh, from past two, three years, they have added uh, uh, security is also 
as a subject which is included in this computer networks. And here the pattern from past 2 to 3 years they are asking um, and here the weightage is 2 to 3 marks. See the basic difference uh, in this security when you compare with uh, this computer networks. In computer networks we focus on uh, what is the flow of the data from end to end in a system and by adding them headers. But security will deal with when you transmit if some third party mediator or some X person has involved in that how to provide protection to the data before reaching to uh, the destination it will be taken care by this uh, security. In security what we try to learn are the security algorithms you can say uh, like RSA algorithm, Defi Hellman key algorithms. The basic idea here it is to provide confidentiality means providing secrecy to the data. Authentication means uh, providing the uh, means providing the origin of the data, authentication of data also by pro by using some digital signatures. So uh, here in the security around 2 to 3 marks uh, they are asking. So this is the entire uh, the complete view of the computer uh, the networks uh, with respect to the technical points actually. Okay. So coming to the the preparation strategy uh, speed and accuracy is important uh, in solving the questions in the gate exam. And so far whatever you develop the concept in the classroom whatever you learn for extra knowledge you can refer some standard books like uh, the data communications and networking by Farozan. You can understand the topic very easily if you refer this book it is in a, a lucid manner and you can refer some other book like computer networks by uh, Tenenbaum it is something like a research book you can design the protocols it is a little bit uh, compared to the Forozen it is a little bit tough and you can have a, a practical approach uh, some other book like top down approach by Kuros and Rose. But out of all I think the most important thing is your classroom notes. And for a preparation for you, after you attend your class every day, uh, refer for half an hour or one, once that day class is done, otherwise you tend to forget. It is not advisable to read the whole subject after you start learning some other subject. And also you concentrate on the test series, workbook and the material we supply, then you will be knowing. Uh, where you are standing among uh, the uh, remaining all students. Then automatically your confidence levels will build automatically. And understand? Confidence will come from the knowledge and the subject which you develop. Thank you. All the best for your future.